Come in, it's open. Hey, it's you, Ian. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, how are you? Hi, wanna see my new tech? Yeah. Wanna see the Velociraptors? Sure. These cameras are heat sensing. We designed it like that to know if a dino is hidden or it has escaped. Nice crocodiles, by the way. I have to go. Bye. Bye. Wait, what's this room? It looks like a lab. And there's so many things. Oh, what's that? Oh, man. What's that Velociraptor? It looks smaller than normal. Way smaller. And that water tank. And the Dilophosaurus head and the crocodile parts. And those tanks filled with, I don't know, DNA maybe? I wonder what they're using this for. Maybe a hybrid? Maybe something else? I don't know. Hey you! Is the hybrid in its paddock? Yeah, it's already in its paddock. It's pretty big already. <laughs> what was that? I have to go check. I knew it. It's a hybrid. Or a dragon. I don't know what it is. This is not acceptable. What are all these hybrids? What's your explanation, Dr. Bob? I see you now. You went into the secret lab. Look, you've been doing this for a while now. I'll show you some camera footage. <coughs> that water dragon was made of pterodactyl, rat, and a bit of Dilophosaurus DNA. This dark dragon I'm about to show you is made up of Dilophosaurus and Pterodactyl DNA only. And the one you found is made up of Dilophosaurus and the rest is classified. Plus, we'll use the hybrids to capture those idiots who let the dinosaurs free a week ago. <laughs> I see Dilophosaurus and Pterodactyl is key to making dragons. Yeah, now look at this. Still, Dr. Bob, I don't think it's a good idea to make hybrids and dragons. I mean, life finds a way. <laughs>